Like, how they would tell you, like, oh, wash your hair once a month? What? No, you have to wash your hair once a week. Ugh. Hey guys, it's so and welcome back to my channel. First of all, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I promise you're gonna love it here. We all have a lot of fun over here, so please subscribe to my channel. And also like this video. Liking the video really does help with the algorithm and helps my channel grow, so please help that a little bit and just like that video. And you know what, let's just get into it. So today I wanna talk about a couple things that I wish I knew before I went natural. So as you can see, I have natural hair. I first started growing out my hair in 2015. August of 2015 was the last time I got a relaxer. And I kinda just grew my hair out until January of 2017 when I cut it and then I was fully natural from then so it's been about seven years since my last relaxer but five years that I've been natural and this is what it looked like yeah I just kind of want to talk about a couple things I wish I knew before I went natural because there are a lot of things I wish I knew a lot of things I wish I would have done differently when I first went natural anyway let's get into it so the first thing I wish I knew before going natural was to not listen to all the YouTube girls oh my gosh all these little trends that they did all these little products and stuff having to buy the products and why I need the products so bad and do my hair like theirs like oh my gosh they talk about things to do with their hair just stop taking it like it's the gospel that's all I'm saying you can still watch videos about natural hair I'm definitely gonna still make videos about my natural hair but like stop just running with what people say about how to do natural hair and as if it's the gospel there's only one gospel that's Matthew Mark Luke and John thank you amen when I first started going natural and when I finally cut my hair they would say one thing I'll be like oh I need that product every little tool like everyone would go rush to buy it every product everyone will rush to buy it like all of these products that they say you need to put in your hair and telling you oh you don't need to wash your hair like this wash your hair this often and like this is now oh my gosh they're just oh i wish i would have never listened to them i wish i would have just done my own thing like i was doing like i feel like my hair was so much healthier when i first went natural than it is now my hair is still healthy and it's still growing but i feel like it was just so much easier to do my hair when i first went natural than it is now and i feel like that's partly because i mean my hair is much longer now so obviously like all your hair takes a lot more time than shorter hair but at the same time it's just like all i did was wash my hair once a week i shampooed it i conditioned and i put like one product in it and i was done that was it but then the youtube girl said oh put oil add this add this and this and that so i started getting the products once i got a little bit of money a little bit of coin i started buying all these extra products for such a long time i feel like my hair was just like not giving what it's supposed to give once i took out my goddess braids i said you know what all the things that i've been doing following what the youtube girls have said i'm not listening to them no more i'm gonna listen to the professionals professionals and start doing what they're doing oh my hair feels like it's going back to itself like my hair was so healthy but it just felt different for such a long time and now my hair feels like it's coming back to my hair it's getting back to itself you know can i just stop using all the extra things like all the curling creams the the definition creams there's just so many things that like the youtube girls told us we need for our hair that we literally do not need we don't need and that's why with my skin too i watch every skincare routine look at all the products and buy the products and you just mess up my skin my skin was just not having it you know what i did i stopped watching those skincare routines i watched them just because they were fun to watch but i stopped just buying every little product that i saw and trying to get that product and doing it like someone else i did research listen to estheticians and dermatologists and now my skin is thriving of course i still have acne because i have acne prone skin so i'm going to have breakouts here and there but my skin is so much healthier it's cute to watch skincare routines i love watching them still i still watch skincare routines because they're just they're fun to watch but like just don't be going and buying all the products you see and the same thing with hair care routines i love watching hair care routines but you don't need to go and buy every single hair care product that you see in the video and i feel like i did that like i would want every single product that they had i want to do it like them and that's just not my hair and just in general like your hair does not need all of these products like it really doesn't you don't need the maximum hydration method that is just a waste of money and a waste of product your hair doesn't need that like how they would tell you like oh wash your hair once a month what? No, you have to wash your hair once a week. Ugh. That's what I did when I first went natural. I would wash my hair once a week. And they're saying, oh, once a week is too much. Once a week is too much. Do every other week. And I said, okay, I do it every other week. Then they said, oh, no, 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 no. Do once a month. I said, once a month. I'm like, okay, well, that's, I mean, I guess. Because they, they try to make it sound like it makes sense, right? Oh, sulfur is bad for you. Sulfur is bad. Parabens are bad. Sulfur gets the dirt off of your hair. The water only washing is not going to clean your hair. A cleansing conditioner is not going to clean your hair like shampoo. Just use shampoo. Just because a product is natural doesn't mean that it's good. Just use shampoo use shampoo it's okay your hair is going to be fine just shampoo your freaking hair use sulfates just use a freaking sulfates it's not gonna kill your hair sulfates literally cleanse your hair you need to cleanse up all the dirt and stuff they'll be like oh 
<laughs> oh yeah, soap makes a good kid. Take off the dirt. They also take off all the natural oils off your scalp. And you don't want to take off the natural oils. The natural oils will come back. <laughs> oh my gosh, all these little like things that they would say that just don't make no type of sense now that I've like unlearned that stuff. Like all I'm saying is at the end of the day, it is your hair. So do what you want to do with your hair. Use whatever products you want to use for your hair. But like what the YouTube girlies be saying in their videos, take what a grain of salt. The next thing I wish I knew, which kind of leads back to the YouTube girlies, is not to follow the trends. Just all these trends like maximum hydration method, rice water, onion juices, ugh, all these little trends. You don't gotta follow the trend. Like, it's okay to try new things. Like, you don't have to hop on every single trend. Like, I'd wanna hop on every single trend, and I'm glad I didn't. Back to the hydration method, I wanted to do that so bad, and I was like, no, like, that's when I gotta buy all these products. I watched one girl's video, her hair already looked hydrated after like the first five minutes. So, what's up with all the extra products? Like, it's just too much. It's just way too much. Now, the next thing I wish I knew before going natural is how important trims are. I did not cut my hair for months, years after I went natural. And I finally cut my my hair January 2017 I did not put scissors to my hair for years I just left it like that and my ends got so bad I have to cut it now I gotta do a little bit so I just put it in twist and just cut up a little bit of ends every couple months my ends just never got better and so last December I finally just said you know I have to do a good old trim I cut up like an inch or so of my hair now it's June it's been a couple months since my trim and I gotta trim it again and the last thing I wish I knew before going natural is that people want to be putting their hands all up in your hair it's Especially once your hair gets much longer and bigger and fuller, they're gonna be just in your hair. Oh my gosh. Don't touch people's hair. Stop touching black girls' hair without their permission. Don't even ask to touch our hair. Keep your hands off of our hair. Can't touch it. Like, it's not for you. Just messing it up. Like, I remember this one day, I was at my auntie's house. I went to get me some food, right? Give me a nice little plate of jollof rice, you know what I'm saying? And this one woman, she just came in here and was like, oh my gosh, just sell your hair. I said, <laughs> Auntie, move your hand. Why like, just digging her hands in my hair? Bro. And that was also like one of the first times I did wash and go anyway. And so my hair was just not looking right anyway because wash and go is not washing and going. So I already like really finessed it in the mirror to get it to stay in this one way. And then she shows her hand in my freaking head. I'm like, stop touching black girl's hair. Leave it alone. If you want to touch natural hair, go to a freaking wig shop and touch the wigs. Or get you a kunet and touch her hair. But you're not going to touch mine. Don't touch my Hair. But yeah, I think that's all I got. I guess this is the very, very, very last thing I wish I knew. But I wish I knew that it does not have to be hard. Like everyone was telling me it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be hard. And I was like, is it gonna be hard? It's gonna be hard. I don't wanna do it. Like I'm not trying to do all that. But like it does not have to be hard. Being natural does not have to be a struggle. It really doesn't. Like we are really taught and conditioned to feel like our hair is supposed to take hours and hours and hours. That we're supposed to use ten thousand products to tame our hair. Our hair does not have to be hard. It does not have to take all day wash day does not have to actually take an entire day it really just goes back to white supremacy and eurocentric beauty standards and all these kind of things and just racism you know but yeah that is all i have for you guys today if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up i hope you enjoyed this video comment down below what you want to comment down below comment down below whatever video ideas you want to see from me especially the hair content if you want to see how do my washing goes let me know if you want to see how i wash my hair let me know any kind of hair content let me know in the comment section down below and i'll put that up for you guys follow me on all my social medias will be down below and i'll see you in my next one. Bye.